It'll be so good. I can't wait to hear your experience. Especially the workouts are the fun part. Like I remember when I went, we got to do Tony, it was in Tony Horton's 22 minute hardcore was coming out. So we did that with him, which was fun. And then um, a to day obsession, we did that leadership. She knows, like she just knows. So, all right. So these calls are just meant to, I was just thinking about this today. Like I don't need to train you guys in anything specific. I will always share like what I'm doing in Instagram stories, the scripts that I'm using. Like I will always share with you what I'm doing, but there are so many other people to learn from. And she like, this is how like do this or do this, or this is what's changing on Instagram. Like I'll give you guys updates throughout the week, but I want these monthly team calls to be the time that we kind of connect and that I kind of motivate you and re-inspire you. And we have that talk to kind of bring you out. Like Brandy was saying, like January was not a fun month for her. So it's like, I I know she can re-motivate herself, but sometimes we all can't do that. (laughs) We need that community to pull us together. We need that reminder of the bigger picture. We need to remember the energy and the excitement and the motivation and the vision that we had on January, we'll call it January 6th, reality, like in reality, that you still carry that into today, that it doesn't get clouded, that it doesn't go away because of a hard month or maybe you missed some goals, but we remember those visions and those goals every single month so that they don't get lost if we had a hard month or if we maybe just hit it by the skin of our teeth or maybe it just you know, I hit my goals, but I feel like the last two weeks were like, not that great. Like I had a really strong beginning and it just kind of fills it all at the end. And I know that's all on me and my mindset, which I'll share with you guys in a little bit. So, um, vision and why is it like goals? Um, did anyone hit some goals that they wanted to in January rank success club, recruiting goals, like just celebrate them. That's what we're going to do a little bit. There's no big, no small. Go ahead and shout out. I think everyone's unmuted. So you can unmute yourself and hit success club. You hit your success club. Raise your hand. I mean, I hit my success club goal, so. Yeah, celebrate that because there are some girls that did it. So celebrate that. I don't care if you're this far into the business. Celebrate <laughs> that. You, we all know it's not easy every month. <laughs> so who hit their success club goal? I did. Yeah, Rachel? And Emerald. I, I say, and you went Emerald, right? It's yes, a different last name on here, so I, I was thinking. Yeah, of I'm in the process of changing that. I got married in September, and I haven't done it yet. <laughs> what? Come on. No, I'm just kidding. I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's awesome. I know you had a big month, which is so fun to see. So fun. Anyone else? Anyone else? I hit Success Club in my business center. I think I hit 20. And then I hit Success Club six in a family account to help with Elite. And I had two coaches hit with my with my family account and another new coach. So I had two person sponsored coaches hit, well, new coaches hit Success Club. So that was fun to see um, Allison hit and she hustled her little booty off to do it. So super proud of her. Um, all right. So February goals, if you just want to take a second, you can type them in the chat or you can, um, where's the chat go? you can type them in the chat or you can say them out loud on here. What are your February goals? What do you kind of have for yourself here? Megan's got SC10, two coaches. Good goal. Doable. Anyone else? I don't know how to type, but Success Club 10 and Diamond. <laughs> Woo! Get it, girl. That's a good goal. I like those. Brandy says, SC's 20, six coaches, and hit two star for me and Cody. So two star in your business center and two star in Cody's. Awesome. Let's do it. Awesome goal, Sarah. I love those. Sarah said, SC10 for her, SC6 for Dan, two coaches, and two coaches go Emeralds. Alicia is SC10 and two coaches, and two coaches for Larry. So four coaches total. Where'd she go? There you are. (laughs) 
Um, and Nancy, work on your journey. I love it. Be consistent. Be consistent. And you never give up. You said that in the in my post today. All right, I'm going to snapshot these just to hold you accountable. Corey, anything you want to add? You can unmute. Kids are fine. Totally fine. I thought I did. I am so close to diamond. I need to hit that. Super close. <laughs> you are super close. I'm so close. That's what I need. So diamond, February. Yep. I should put you in contact with Crystal Crockett because she's like one or two coaches away too. And she's been like one or two coaches away for a couple weeks now. Oh, okay. I know I was on, um, I'm in that push to diamond with Meg and um, I had asked her about um, what I should do at this point. And um, yeah, I'm just trying. <laughs> what you need, you need to need an emerald on that one side. And my one that was emerald um, dropped rank. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, because I'm active get or cancel. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm inactive or cancel. Uh, it was her mom actually, and she canceled. Canceled. Okay. Yeah. So she has two on. She on her other leg. She has one active and one inactive. But um, she just needs one on her other side. So and that's I, it, or you, and then you need another emerald too, right? Well, my husband, I have him emerald. Okay. I have a lot of coaches, but nobody that wants to work. I know it's hard. Maybe reach out to them. Say, hey, new month, new mentorship is going on. I want to work with you. I'll work with you for the month of February on your own health and fitness journey and work closely with you and put them in like maybe a smaller thread. I mean, anyone can take this advice. Um, put them in like a smaller thread instead of the big group and just really see if they'll work on their journey for the next three weeks and then let them know that they're welcome to join the March <coughs> new coach mentors or yeah, March new coach, new coach mentorship so that they can just see how they tie in their journey into working the business and just kind of make it a, a more seamless transition versus sometimes it just feels like, Oh my gosh, I have to do my fitness journey and my business all at the same time. But maybe just say, Hey, let's work on your journey and see where you feel after that and see if you're open to learning more about what I do as a coach and just very phrase it at that because they're already enrolled as a coach. Right. So just say, Hey, why don't you join this two week like trial and see what I do as a coach and see what you think about it. And see how it can help you earn your money back for psychology this month or something like that. Like they're already a coach. They're already doing it. So now it's just getting them either active again or working again. So maybe, like we could work on for all of us. I mean, I could use that phrasing too. Like, hey, you're just now let's focus on your journey. And then why don't you do this mentorship to see if you can like if you like what we do as coaches or you could see yourself doing what we do as coaches. I think that might be helpful and take the pressure off. Like they don't have to work it. It's just meant to like let's just try this for two weeks and see what you think. See what happens. So that might be another I know that the working part won't happen till March, but at least start to get them engaged and you never know just by focusing on their journey a little bit and working a little bit closer with you that might inspire them and motivate them a little bit even in that. Yeah. That's a good idea. Anyone else want to chime in? My goal is SC 20 cumulative. So SC 14 at least in mine and then SC 6 in my family account and get Matt back to diamond for the love of God. <laughs> and hopefully he can stay that way. His account is like, it like repels coaches. <laughs> it just like repels them. So those are my goals right now. Keeping it, keeping it easy. Cause if I can get him diamond, other goals fall in place. So I just need to focus on that. So, all right. Um, vision. So those are goals. Those are like tangible goals, things that like you're working towards. I just want to, you guys don't have to share this if you don't want, but I want you to take a second and write it down. You know, we talked a lot in the beginning of the year of the vision and goals are different. Goals are rank, their income, their, you know, like bringing you to the vision. They're the, they're milestones, the, the steps to the bigger vision that we have to accomplish. And if we're hitting those goals then our vision will come to play, but the motivation for the vision can be greater than the motivation to hit the goal. Right. So I might not be uber excited, like, yeah, I hit success club 10, 
but when I look at what that actually does for my business or like enrolling coaches is not my strong suit, but I'm going to work at it and I'm going to try my best at it because it's a goal that I have to accomplish in order to see the bigger vision, to be able to live the bigger vision. But you need to remember what that vision is. So we talked back in January about our visions and what you had. And we talked about the big vision that you want Beachbody to provide for you. So I want you to take like, I'm literally going to set my timer for like two to four minutes. And I want you to think about that vision. If you didn't set one, I want you to like, just write things down. It doesn't have to be anything concrete right now. If you did the future boards, you might have more of a concrete vision at this point. Um, it's a book. I'll type it in the, the chat. Um, um, it just kind of helps you see the things you want to do, the things you want to experience, the places you want to visit, the people you want to meet, the lifestyle you want to live, the lifestyle you want to give your family. It kind of helps you see that. And then that brings that into that full vision of the life that you want for your family. So take two to three minutes. I want you to just either remind yourself of that vision or write down that vision for the very first time. And if you want, you can even share in the chat so that we know the vision that you're working for. So I can remind you, hey, I know this is hard right now, but envision this in three years, envision this in two years, envision this in one year being done, like one, two, five, 10 years from now, these visions can come into play, but we have to do this stuff now. when you're thinking of that vision, I'm just going to talk through some things for you guys. When you're thinking about that vision, think about how you're going to feel. Think about why that vision is important to you. Like, what does that do for you and the people around you? How are you going to feel the day that that vision comes into play? Where will you be? Like, I envision being in this house for all four kids' graduation and being able to give them, I get choked up every single time, giving them a check, giving them access to this bank account that we've been accumulating for them for the last 18 years and being able to say, I don't have a set number. I don't have like a huge, I just want to be able to give them something. Like I want, I didn't get that when I was growing up. I didn't get this nice little check to pay off school. It was, all right, you're off to college, <laughs> work your butt off, go to school full time and get a bachelor's degree while you're working full time because you have to pay for college, you know? And so when Matt and I started our marriage, we were $40,000, $50,000 in debt between his school and my school. How relatable is that, right? Like, I don't want my kids to start off with that, that way because I have an opportunity to make sure that they don't. And allows them more choices. And that's my vision. That's what I want. You might be looking at the opposite saying, no, my kids are going to do what I did. <laughs> and that's fine. But my vision, my heart is I want to be able to gift that to them. And I have that opportunity here. So that's like a big vision. That's like a long-term vision. But a short-term vision is paying off our Traverse City house, getting it fairly furnished, and that being our summer place that we can just go and escape and we can live and be and not have to worry about back and forth. Like we can just be up there. We can go or we can rent it out. And we have that flexibility as a family to be able to go and enjoy that and enjoy up north. Like that excites me. That gets me excited. I can picture us in that house. I can picture fires and, you know, bonfires in the park across and getting a boat and traveling here and wine tasting. And I can see all of that with my kids and Matt. And so it gets, ex gets exciting, right? So that was two minutes. Does anyone write down a vision that you want to share? You can type it, you can speak it. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, I'll, sh I'll share mine, whatever. Um, okay, so I have some that are for 2020, some that are for 2021, and then some that just don't have a time label on them, but I put them all on the list. So I wanna walk the stage at Beachbody Summit and like that is a feeling I wanna have that I haven't been able to have yet. So that's what I wanna do. 
Um, I would like to get to the new leader conference in 2021. Um, I want to take my family to Disney World. I want to pay for it. I don't know when that will be, but that's what I want. Um, I would like to eventually start building a house and like make it my own with like the home gym that I want. So it has all the stuff in it and I'm not working out on carpet and I want it to have a pool that we can enjoy at home. I would like to be a bikini competitor in 2020. Um, I'd like to become a premier team and feel like an actual business leader leading people that make a difference. I would like to be able to afford massages and pedicures and like chiropractor and everything that I would ideally do, but I don't do because it costs a bunch of money and I just can't stomach spending that on myself. Um, and then we, I would like to furnish our cottage with a new couch. I love that. I love those, Sarah. Oh. Cool. Those are so good. And I love the one like premiere and feel like your coaches are now providing and leading a team. Like that is such a cool feeling to see you guys like rise up and build and empower leaders. Like when your coaches go Emerald, that excites me. So it's like, yes, like they're getting it. They're seeing yes. it. They're doing it. They're believing it. They're, this is duplicatable if you have the right coaches that want to do it with and that's the key gotta find them thanks for sharing sarah that's awesome and yeah, yeah of course bikini, bikini 2020 2020 hopefully september we'll see no it will bikini. i mean done it once and rocked it you're a little hottie be well we'll see yeah hopefully things have changed since then quite a bit but hopefully that's the goal yes, i know i know uh, Brandy has, I can't say the island, so if she can, perfect, <laughs> but I could not, um, live in New Mexico where it's warm. Oh, I love that. That would be, yeah, for you guys, mountains, the trees and the trails, but warm. Timeshare in Cabo, Hawaii or somewhere tropical. Yes. Spartan race. Oh my gosh. You should totally do a Spartan. You could totally rock it. My other friend, Brandy in Florida, um, is a, she has three kiddos and she's like a rock star. She actually, they just put her face on their poster. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, I've done a mud race and I plan on doing another one in May. And then we're doing a tough mudder in <laughs> Vegas in the fall. Oh my gosh. So, how fun. Working up to it. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. You could totally do it. Retire Cody and be home more with each other. I love that. Yeah and pay for kids college. Love it. Love it. Ooh, a beach house in Delaware, retire your husband. See it, Nancy, speak it. <laughs> I love it. I love it, I love it. Um, financially free, but feel financially free. I want to wake up and be able to spoil my friends and family with a fun day with no worries about what it will cost. I want to go to London, all expenses paid, and visit the Harry Potter world with my whole family. I love that. And like, you guys don't just write these out as like wishes. They're not wishes. They're visions. They're visions that you are willing to work for. And I think sometimes for me going through this whole thing and like, I've been, I was pretty, pretty open with you guys at the beginning of the year. Like, this is the hard part for me. Like, this isn't something that I'm just wishing for. This is something that I genuinely do want, but I have to ask myself, am I willing to put in the work to get there? Am I willing the late nights, the early mornings, the time away from the kids right now and let that guilt not be at me right and really believe that these visions can come into play that these visions can truly become reality don't write these as just wishes that oh this would be nice envision and, and i think the big takeaway i took from future boards too was we can have these visions and some of them might happen next month. Like Sarah, you might have a killer month to be able to go out and buy a couch because the couch was on sale and you made enough. And like, it doesn't have to be that you earned it. Right. It, it can be that like by you showing up and believing and speaking it, God or the universe or whoever is like, I'm going to reward you for your belief, for your work, for your obedience, for your steps. Like here's the door. I'm going to open this up for you. Like our whole move home was like steps of faith and just him going, okay, you believe it? Here you go. You believe it? Here you go. And Matt and I look back, I'm like, man, we were in Japan. We were just in uh, Japan and Epcot and we just got engaged and I opened uh, an oyster and there were two pearls in it. And it's like one in 
10,000 pearls have, or oysters have two pearls in it. And he's like, oh, we're gonna have twins. Well, 12 months later, we got pregnant with twins. Way to speak that in action, dude. Like he just, he is such a good one with like, he was gonna make six figures and he believed that he spoke it. I mean, he did it. How, I have no idea. He wanted to move to Florida one day and he spoke about it. There we are in Florida. And then we talked about fourth kid, fourth kid it was just always just never anything concrete, but it just happened. <laughs> you speak it and it will happen. This house, so we spoke, it happened. And it's just putting it out there. We should not have been in this house. Like we had everything against us and here we are. But these visions become reality. And it's not that you all of a sudden get the money to do it, the confidence to do it or whatever. It's by you stepping up and action and taking action and standing up with that belief that it can, doors start to open. And if you need a book to kind of help you inspire that, I highly recommend Future Boards. Just because the little snippets of the stories in there are like, holy crap. Like, she didn't earn enough money to buy tickets. She just happened to have enough Sky Miles and a free ticket to the Boston game. What, like, was it about Boston football, right? Michael oh I don't remember what city it was but yes yeah. yeah. was, there was just tickets there and she knew somebody and they gave her seats yeah yeah she wanted to take her son to a football game and it, so it's just things like that like speaking it what do you want it doesn't necessarily mean that this business is gonna like it will it can but there's other ways that, that those visions will come to play right so keep that in mind too um Megan I will be in a team call without getting guff from any it will happen. Follow Melanie Mitro. It will happen. Your husband will turn around. Yes. Yes. Nancy, we'll talk and we'll get some personal development for you. I think that's the key. You need to have that belief that you have something to offer. So, okay, cool. All right. So remember those visions, put those in, like I have my goals and I have visions up on this little board right here that kind of remind me. And I just look at my kids every day and I'm like, I want better for them than I had right? So remember your visions. Okay. Now, what if you're coming off a hard month or what if, you know, Megan, I know that Eddie is a, a obstacle. He is something that you have resistance towards. Like you can go all in and you'll show up on the call, but you don't want to disrespect him. Like those are obstacles in ways that it can be super defeating. And last week I'm sitting there, I'm like, I don't know if I can do this. Like, I just feel like I hate Instagram and I want to chuck it. I want to delete it. I don't ever want to post on there again. It's so defeating. You know, it, it makes me feel inadequate. It makes me feel like I'm never going to be this coach that I think I can be. And it just, I was in like a really bad week last week, like mentally. I just could not, I was texting Abby and she's like, girl, I get it. I get it. And I'm like, okay, so what do I do? Like, how do we, so I picked up a book called the 5am club again. And Last fall when I read it, I felt so empowered every single day. I felt like I could freaking take on the world and no one could get in my head. And so I encourage you to pick up a book that encourages you. Don't read what everyone else is reading. Find something that you need in the moment. I need a book that tells me I am worthy. I am capable. I, I am capable to live an extraordinary life. And that's going to look different for me than it is Matt Way or Ashley Molstead. It's going to look different, but it's still extraordinary. And I need that reminder. So think about, write down right now what your limiting belief is. And then let's find a book or an audible or create affirmations to help you overcome that mindset because it, it will tear you down. It will beat you down. And it will be very hard to wake up and want to do this every day if your mindset is stuck every day. Right? So, um, I was reading the 5 a.m. club and he had this uh, quote and I loved it. And it said, the moment when you most feel like giving up is the instant when you must find it in you to press ahead. And it hit me so hard because that's so true with this business. How many of you ever felt like, oh my gosh, I'm just going to throw in the towel. I'm done. <laughs> you can be honest, you guys, I have like 12 times a year, one time a month. I'm like, oh, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. Or I'm just going to take a step back. Or I was sitting here last week going, okay, I think I'm going to get on a call and tell the team, like, this is where I'm at. You can do what you need to do, but this is where I'm at. And I'm like, no, like, that's not what I want. That's not I'm just having a really crappy week. How do I get out of the crappy week? Right? So the moment that you want to feel that you feel like I can't do this, something else is off. 
And that's when you need to dive in, get into personal development. You can message me, you can message your direct upline. You can even message Meg, plug into a team call, get on a team training, do something to plug yourself in and kind of fill that motivational cup. Listen to this call again, if you need to, because I'm hoping I push record. Yes. Uh, oh God. Like plug yourself back in and remind yourself what you're pushing for, what you're working for today, this month, tomorrow, a year from now. And then that was another thing that I was thinking of last week. And you guys can chime in at any time. Like this is not like, this is me just sharing my thoughts the last week about this and just vision and staying the course. And I was thinking, I'm like, sometimes I beat myself up that I didn't start sooner with no kids and no job. When Meg first approached me, I'm like, man, what if I would have said yes then? How many of you have thought that? Like, what if I would have said yes sooner? Anyone? No one wishes they said they wish they would have done it sooner. I guess I wish I would have known about it sooner. Like, I, I just didn't know. Like, I feel like I said yes relatively early on in, in the Beachbody journey, but I had no idea it was a thing until you were you know, I was 30. Yeah. I wish I would have known what it was at. <laughs> she freeze on anyone else or just me? Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I can't hear. Like, you know, hey, can you, Brandy, can you start over? You froze on us. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, my internet connection sucks. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wish I would have known what it, what the business was actually about rather than what I was assuming it was about. Cause I followed other coaches, you know, for a while and they were so, so over the top and they didn't talk about the friendships, the community, the opportunities, you know, all of those things. They just talked about, Oh, join my group, do this. You can have people join you. And that's the business. Like they didn't go any deeper than that. And so I feel like I would, I'm glad I didn't say yes sooner because then it probably wouldn't have been with Brittany and then I would have cried. <laughs> so I'm just really glad that, I mean, I know it's all in God's timing. Like yeah. he didn't want me to know opportunities until I found like my people, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I'm, I wish I would have joined sooner, but I'm also glad I didn't. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. No, it does. Cause that's where, that's, so that's what I'm getting at. Like I wish why do I wish I would have joined sooner? Strictly for a rank. Or maybe I got in quicker and I had a bigger team behind me at this point and I'd be in nine years versus seven. And I would have, maybe I would have been here or maybe blah, blah, blah. But I also know that <laughs> I wouldn't be the coach I am today without having gone through, like I needed this after kids. I needed this to save me <laughs> from where I could have been headed, you know? Um, if I'd never found it. And so that's the second question. What if you never, and that's what I had to ask myself last week. What if I would have never done coaching? What if I would have never said yes? What would my life look like? What would be different? So much, my whole life would be different. And so it's like, yes, you might, these ranks, these goals, these like success club, like, yes, they are important. And I think they're a good mile marker. And are you doing the activities? Are you showing up? Are you doing the things as a coach consistently should do? I know some months you can do everything under the sun and you still like fall short a little bit, but consistently showing up, you turn into a different person. Like this whole journey has brought you to the person you are today and you are where you are because that's where you're supposed to be. And so I had to ask myself, like, what if I were to stop coaching right now? What would I be doing? How would life be different? What would change? Who would I not meet? How many, mess, how many other women would I, would not find their, their best self or live their best life or get off med medication or, you know what I mean? Like it trickles, it trickles. So on those days that you want to give up, look at yourself and be like, okay, what if I quit coaching today? What would change? You might have some more free time. And if time is the issue, then take a step back and say, okay, how can I rework this? What do I need to do? Message your upline and say, hey, I'm feeling stressed out about time. I don't have enough time for doing this. I don't have enough. Okay. We just need to work smarter. We need to figure out a different way. We need to figure out a different schedule. 
right? There's different things that you need to do that we can do to help you see it, you know, fit into your life instead of it feeling like an obligation. And there was another, um, I don't know where I heard it or read it, but it was like, you have a responsibility. Like, I feel like I have a responsibility with this right now to be able to pay it forward. And that sometimes can be a heavy word to say about this, but at the same time, I want everyone to be able to feel their best and I have a way to help them do that. And so like, I feel like I do have a responsibility to pay it forward and to show up and do my part. Right. I don't know. It just really hit me last week. I'm like, man, what if I would have started sooner? And then I was like, what if I stop right now? Or what if I never said yes? And there's always two ways we can look at that. What if, what if, you know, Nancy, what if you do a post? What if you do a post and it flaps? What if you do a post and somebody message you, messages you and says, thank you so much for posting that. I needed to hear that today. Thank you for posting that because that totally changed my mood or it was exactly what I needed to hear or I felt like it was a hug from the computer. Like I want you guys to go into this month and not think what if and go to the negative. Think what if and go to that positive outcome. Our knee jerk reaction is like, what if I post and no one says anything? Okay, what if you post and 10 people say something? How would that make you feel? Go on that feeling, drive, let that feeling drive you. Not the feeling of fear or judgment or neglect or failure. Use that excitement of like, oh, what if I post this and I get 10 unfollows? Perfect, I don't have to go to cleaner app, perfect. I don't have to go to 10 more people to unfollow, right? I don't have to deal with it. They did it for me. My people are gone. They don't like that post. They're not my people. It's okay to not have everyone love your stuff. So I want you guys to have that mindset this week of this month. What if, and I want you to think about that positive outcome with that question. If you take that action, not the knee jerk reaction of negative. What if, and go to the positive. What if you say no to the cupcake tonight? You're gonna feel so good, right? You're gonna feel proud of yourself and that feeling, that proud feeling, not skipping the cupcake, the proud feeling of accomplishment or self-control or discipline is what motivates you for the next day. You don't have to have enough motivation or discipline for today or for today and tomorrow and next week. You just need it for this moment right now. What if I eat this cupcake? How am I going to feel? What if I send that bold invite? You guys, I sent a message to this girl. Her, she'd be a great coach. She was like, oh, it's not beach body, is it? I was like, oh yeah, it is. Um, I'll see if I can find that message because I was like, okay, this is an opportunity for me to like share my story, to share my version. I was super, super nervous to send these messages, but Bob highly like, told me I had to. So I sent like four of them yesterday or this on Friday. And I was like, Oh, and it was a total God thing. Cause that was like, do you want me to pick up the kids? I said, yes, I'm in a zone, but I really wanted to be like, no. And I was like, what if I send these messages and they say, yes. What if I send these messages and these girls that are like fit, healthy, say yes. What happens? Or what if they say no? Then I have an opportunity to educate them. I don't know if I find her. I can remember her name. But she, you know, how many of you are afraid to send that coaching invite because of that response? Ooh, is it Beachbody? Anyone? No? You guys are so interactive today. <laughs> So she says, I just said, thought, um, but then for kids, I still love, love what I do. I have coaches who do both. They train in person at the gym and class setting, but then also provide them with workouts to use at home, all created by accredited trainers and staff, nutrition programs. All programs are created by registered dietitians and teams. Just thought as you get where you want to go, because she said she wants to build this health and fitness business, it might be helpful. She goes, I wouldn't mind seeing information. It's not Beachbody, correct? And then she commented on a video of Lincoln. And I said, 
Thank you. He is super sweet. Yes, the coaching is through Beachbody. I get the feeling that's not your thing from that message. Have you been a coach before? She goes, I'm not a fan is right. I think they push too much on the product versus pushing whole foods and shakes on the go. Plus everything is a short-term fix. I'd rather see a long-term healthy clients making it more of a lifestyle thing. Again, that's my own opinion and we all have different bodies and opinions. I was like, oh. and ironically, there was just like this thread in the round table about coaches preaching, like, this is a quick fix. And this is the fix, 21 day fix. And, you know, do this in 21 days and promoting like that program. And just that fix, I wish they would have named it something different. <laughs> like I wish they would have like the 21 day book, I don't know, something, but like the fix is like, Ooh. Um, and so I, she's not the only one that has that notion like oh beach body quick fix shakes shakeology and like blah 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 and so i just messaged her back and i said oh for sure i'm sorry that's your view or experience with it it's really been a huge lifestyle shift for me our nutrition programs are meant and intended to teach clients lifelong nutritional tools not a quick fix we do have a three-day cleanse but otherwise everything is intended for long term i think where things went wrong was launching the 21 day fix and it's got a better app with a quick fix or just give it 21 days but not my intentions for my clients. I've been using the workouts, nutrition, and psychology. Yes, it's my afternoon snack plus three other meals. I only share this not to convince you, but just to share my experience in case it's different from what else you've heard or seen. I don't want to come off in like a way that I'm attacking her or like your view is wrong, like whatever, but I just wanted her to like, there's so much more to this. And that's my biggest thing. I said no because I didn't know. I, I had one, it was an MLM I wasn't going to sell. That's why I said no. I didn't need any other information. <laughs> I was just not going to sell. So what if you send that message and you get that response? You have an opportunity to educate. You have an opportunity to give them a different perspective. You have a responsibility to Beachbody to end that mindset of what we do. That's not what, like, I'm like, I've been doing this seven years and you've been following me for a couple months. How did you not know it was Beachbody? you've been following my stories. Like you've seen my stuff. You comment, like, you know what I mean? I'm like, obviously you like what I'm about and my lifestyle is Beachbody. I'm the Beachbody lifestyle. So it's an opportunity to educate. And like I said earlier, like a responsibility, responsibility to end that whole like quick fix or, oh, 21 day fix. I did it. And I gained the weight back. Well, you're supposed to do a couple rounds of it. <laughs> Not just one. So shame and, and, but that happened with coaches too. They would do one and then start a new group and like, it just, there was lost in translation, I think when it launched, but, um, anyways, don't let that fear hold you back. There's going to be an opportunity to educate yourself, educate them, a responsibility to end or flip their script of what we do as coaches or end the script to network marketing as a whole. Like be proud of who you are, who you are a part of, the company you are a part of, and remind people like, yeah, we're with Beachbody, but we're also our own business. I don't make my clients have to have Shakeology. I don't make my clients have to be a coach to be in my groups. There are coaches that do that, and that turns people off. And some people are okay with that, and some people, they're turned off, and they don't, and they ruin it for everyone else. You know, <laughs> oh, great. But don't be afraid to ask and, and use those opportunities to educate them and be there for them and love them anyway. Like I'm still going to communicate with her and hopefully in a year or two, which my expectation is maybe she'll have a bigger picture, you know, but don't let that what if hold you back. I was super, super nervous to send these three messages on Friday, but I sent them. She's the only one who responded back, which is fine. So anyways, what if focus on the positive, don't let that negative, option hold you back. Focus on that joy, the excitement, the fun that could come out on that positive side of doing the action behind that what if question. That's what I got for you today. Anything you guys want to chime in? Quiet? I just really needed to hear all of that. So thank you. Like yeah. it couldn't have been a better call. Like I'm like, man, <laughs> I feel good. good. Yeah. And that's how I sat down this morning. I was like, I feel good. I'm excited to work. I'm excited to post. Like, and I didn't have that last week, like Tuesday night through Saturday morning. Just really struggling. 
Alicia's frozen screen. Do you see her? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm getting it on froze. Hate my internet with a passion. It's ridiculous. Can I can I mock you a minute? Oh sure. Go right ahead. <laughs> Like That's this girl is seriously stressing me out. She needs to shut it right now. <laughs> Sarah got one earlier with a big bite of salad going in my mouth. It's fine. <laughs> I, mean. I love it. That's funny. All right. Anything else? Any questions going into the month? Who's on Team Cup? Yeah. Okay, good. Good deal. You got your promo codes? Team promo? You got your bingo card? No, yes, bingo. How yes. are you? Can yeah. I talk about bingo for a second? Because I have a very young, like, team, obviously. And the bingo thing has to be filled out in fall to submit, correct? Per correct. week? Correct. Um, so we talked about it, but we kind of thought that that might overwhelm new coaches. Just, yeah. It's, it's pretty intense, right? Like, yeah, I was looking at it yesterday and I was like, oh, hot damn. Yeah. For a week, for a month, I think it's amazing. But for a week, I'm like, ooh, I, I, 